Hi everyone, Ashley Brown here with the Tuesday News Wrap here on afl.com.au and we start with tanking which is back in the news after the explosive revelations from Carlton's Brock McLean on TV on Monday night about what drove him out of the Melbourne Football Club at the end of 2009. Circumstances that happened in the second half of the year never really sat well with like? me. Well, Are you talking tanking here? Well, they don't call it tanking, we call it you know, experimenting or, or, mm. or whatever it mm. was and... Um, you know, it just went against everything I was taught as a kid, taught, uh, you know, as a footballer, as, as a person. And I think you'd have to be blind, Freddie, to, mm. to, uh, to not figure that one out. Did you ever feel in 08 and 09 that you weren't trying to win games? Uh, no, nah, not at all. Geelong is gearing up for yet another big game against Hawthorne on Friday night. And we'll leave it until as late as possible before deciding whether freakish forward Steve Johnson will play. You know, he doesn't have any tangible uh, symptoms at the moment, um, but that doesn't mean um, that he'll pass all the tests later in the week. But we'll certainly wait until Thursday before um, doing too much work with him and, and testing him. Um, we'll certainly name him in the side um, and, and then wait and see how he goes after our last session. James Podziadli is almost certain to join Matthew Scarlett in the side as coach Brad Scott weighs up how best to match up against the rampant Hawks. At Richmond, three straight defeats by less than a goal has led to a different type of post-mortem, with star utility Brett Delidio revealing that every player has had to sit through an individual review of last week's loss to Carlton, with senior coach Damien Hardwick. It was quite surprising. So it was, uh, um, it was really good though. Like I, um, I got a lot out of it, and, I'm, and speaking to all the other boys, they, they got a lot out of it as well, so it was really good. Yeah, he just took us through what uh, what he thinks we need to do better and um, basically in uh, no uncertain terms showed us what uh, what we need to do to play for the jumper. Um, we all made mistakes at costly times, I suppose, and um, and to you know to play finals, we need to eradicate those. Brisbane Lions coach Michael Voss will wield the selection axe ahead of this week's clash with the Tigers after describing Sunday's 98-point loss against West Coast as unacceptable and well below the minimum standard he expected. We knew the challenge that was in front of us and... We knew the task of what we needed to get done and um, you know, they, they were able to sort of get up and about very early and um, you know, we, we didn't see at the end of the game. I mean, we weren't able to just um, probably compete, let alone um, expect anything else. So that was really disappointing. So our hope at the end of this last five weeks is, you know, make no mistake, we are trying to finish out the season strong. Um, and that's, that's our primary focus. At Carlton, fans are starting to get a bit excited about the form of mature age Queensland rookie Tom Bell who is still pinching himself about coming to work at Vizzy Park every day. It's all pretty surreal at the moment. Like, I still I still get a bit of a shock when I come into the club and like I'm walking with Juddy and Murph and all that. Like, it's, it's just something I've, I've always dreamed of as a kid. At the Witten Oval, it was time for yet another Brendan McCartney press conference and yet another day preaching patience. But he did reveal that the Dogs are likely to debut exciting young South African-born speedster Jason Johannesson for Saturday's clash against North Melbourne at Eddie Had Stadium. It's been a good story. He, his career really kicked on at this club uh, when we put the right people around him. Our supporters are going to see a, a young kid play who uh, physically has a lot of developing, developing to do to get the body size that we need, but he's, he's got attributes that, that the game requires and he will add to our team. If it's not this week, it'll be certainly in the next week or so after that. And in closing, Adam Trelaw has been named this week's NAB Rising Star nomination. That's number six for the Giants for this year, and that's an AFL record. So that's it for the AFL news for today on Tuesday. Keep clicking back to afl.com.au all day, every day for the latest news and views on the great game of football.